All right. Okay, we have made it. Um, day 15, guys, what happened to the month? It's crazy. Um, day 20 for me, so almost 30 days for me. Well, feels like almost 30 days. Closer to 30 than one. <laughs> um, feels really good. There's been some tough days for sure. I feel like um, definitely yesterday was like a good example, I think, of just like feeling insane and not being able to like escape that at all or find much relief. Um, the day definitely ended better than it started. Like, um, and I, I was feeling better by the time I went to bed. Um, for me, that was about having like an honest conversation, I think, that I needed to have. And so um, it's hard with OCD sometimes to know what is reassurance seeking and what is like having a conversation that needs to be had, but working through that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like just looking back to like day one or where we started, um, I know I was feeling um, so just like stuck and trapped by like these substances and really feeling like I would be making more progress and feeling better overall without them. Um, they were starting to impact my life in negative ways. I definitely feel like I'm able to show up. I'm a much better dog mom, like to Georgia, I'm probably a better partner. I feel like even though my space isn't always looking that clean, I do feel like I am a cleaner person um, when I'm more sober and or sober, I guess. Um, and yeah, uh, I just feel more capable. I feel like I'm competent overall. Um, this has definitely been helping me build back some self-trust. And um, today I took some really exciting action steps for my freelance career and had some proposals out. So that felt really good to like, after months of like it being pretty dry out here, like have some leads and some stuff to follow up on. So that was really exciting. And I have noticed a lot of like synchronicities happening, like like hearing the same phrase in two different, completely two different environments or places or like um, same themes coming up. For example, like I went to a sobriety meeting and the theme was, it's my turn. And um, she had heard like, the facilitator had heard like uh, a kid is learning how to individualize themselves, like with their niece or something. And everything was about, it's my turn, it's my turn. And so that became our theme for the meeting was like, it's our turn, it's our turn to feel good, it's our turn to shine. Kind of like the you be the one thing, like you be the one to go forward, uh, it's your turn. And that same day, I decided to randomly rewatch Black Swan, which I've already seen at least twice. And, but I've been like, it's kind of been in the back of my head, like, oh, it popped up on Netflix. And I was like, oh, I would actually like to watch that again. And now that I have, oh, and then like three quarters of the way through the movie, when she like stabs another character, um, she screams like, it's my turn. Ah! <laughs> Basically like killing off, you know, this other, spoilers alert going off this other part of herself um in order to like take control of her life so anyways like stuff like that where like how did I hear that same phrase like and it was like a big part of the movie like um weird stuff like that has been happening a lot and I feel like that's because I'm like really in touch with one of the reasons I did want to get sober was to like clear my channel a little bit more like I do think I'm a pretty spiritual person and connected person and I have intuitive gifts but I can't access them when I'm using all the time because I'm like extended overextended expended I don't know what word I'm looking for but anyways like I do feel like I've been more intuitive lately and connected and like fall I'm able to like hear Georgia come here hey yeah What? We should go see if they need help, I think. Maybe. Yeah.
Okay. Sorry about that. We had a bit of a rear window situation there. Um, yeah, I don't know. We don't know what happened exactly, but um, hopefully that person's okay. Um, we were about to go out and help and then they disappeared and so we called the cops because it looked sus. So yeah, sorry. I don't really know how to finish this vlog. That was a little, that was a lot what we just deal, dealt with. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to call it. Um, so anyways, um, congratulations to those of us who are on day 15. We're halfway through the month. Um, I hope you're starting to feel better or see some benefits to sobriety. I know I've definitely seen mine. Um, it is hard like to think about giving this stuff up for life. So I try not to think about it. Um, because yeah, it can be really like, I don't know, hard to conceptualize that and imagine a whole life where you can't, you know, do that one thing once in a while. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I know I'm, I'm leaps and bounds from where I was like two weeks ago or I guess for me 20 days ago, like I really felt trapped and um, I even took a picture of myself feeling that way. And I was gonna post it, but I never did because I was high. <laughs> but um, I took a picture of myself and I wanted to caption it, I'm tired of lying. And that was because I felt like I was just living a lie, I guess, at that point. And I don't know, I felt like on YouTube, but also in person, or a lot on social media, but like just in general, like I felt like I was presenting that things were going really well, but I was internally struggling a lot with this. So um, yeah, it's kind of a cool photo to have because it's two days before I got sober. It's Christmas Eve. So, so anyways, um, I hope that you'll continue with me and you'll finish your 30 days or dry January if that's what you came here to do. And, um, yeah, it's never too late to start or start again. Um, you know, I've had a lot of day ones over the years and this one that I had most recently probably won't be my last, but <laughs> we're going to try. So, I don't know. I guess I'm happy to be here with you guys on day 15, celebrating halfway. And I know for me that it's not halfway because my plan was always to trick myself into long-term sobriety. Um, but um, for you, if this is halfway and you're going to be done at the end of January, then hell yeah, you're almost there. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching as always. Sorry about the <laughs> interruption that really threw me through a loop. Um, I thought this channel was going to turn into a true crime channel for a sec, but I think we're good. So, um, yeah. All right. Have a good night. Take care.